Right, uh, back to the B20 summit. Parikshit Lutra is in a conversation with Sudarshan Venu of TVS Motors. With us right now is Sudarshan Venu, Managing Director of TVS Motor Company, who is a member of uh, the B20 Steering Committee, which is meeting in New Delhi. Sudarshan, thank you for joining us. One big priority for you at this B20 meeting that uh, should be achieved in the interest of Indian businesses. I think, Parikshit, if you see the attendance that has been there at the B20, the amount of global spotlight on India, the CEOs and business leaders who have chosen to come here, the quality of the sessions, it really showcases the global focus on India as the hot investment destination, the fastest growing large economy with huge consumer market. And I think the economic growth that has happened over the last few years and the promise and potential which will translate over the next many years as it really promises to be India's decade. You can really see that and feel that here today in the B20 with the government support and I think you can really see it and feel it and I think a lot of global investors, business people, CEOs are all seeing the potential of the Indian market mm -hmm. and also the opportunity to make and produce here in India. Right. I think this is really the major outcome of the B20 and it's really energizing and exciting for us as Indian businesses to see that. Right. I'd like to ask you about uh, the sustainability agenda here at the B20. What's the larger focus? What can we be achieved for electric vehicles for that matter? I think sustainability has been a prominent agenda globally and particularly in the B20. I was just listening to a panel where I was talking about the sustainability in the supply chain along with resilience, also a greener supply chain. And there are so many aspects of the green economy which have been covered and given attention to that I'm sure it will encourage more investment in India and as part of this more investment in electric vehicles and the entire supply chain for electric vehicles in India both for global markets and for the huge and fast-growing Indian market. You know, it's the world's largest two-wheeler market. It soon will be the third largest automotive market. So all this creates a huge opportunity for make in India and technology here designed in India, especially in newer areas like electric and across the green and sustainable value chain. I'd like to ask you, you've already spoken about your electric vehicle roadmap with the TBSX. Uh, but in terms of ensuring the continued growth of the Indian electric vehicle ecosystem, what kind of steps are needed for the future? What kind of roadmap, uh, policy clarity that you need? I think policy support has been very good. The PLI is there, same scheme is there. I think you're starting to see where, as I told you just a couple of days ago, over 20% of our scooters are already electric. So I think the direction is what we're investing behind and I think it will grow rapidly in that direction. Okay, uh, my final set of questions would be on uh, the next few things that TDS Motor Company would be working on. Yes, you have ICE product launches, EV product launches, but there, are there any other areas where you would be investing in or exploring very keenly for the future? I think that, of course, electric is a huge focus for us, which we spoke about quite a bit. ICE also continues to see growth. And as a group, one more area we're really excited about is financial services. Our NBFC has grown quite fast. It's one of the faster growing consumer finance companies. We've got Premji on board as an investor. And with so much growth in the Indian economy and the Indian consumption story, we really believe over the next decade, we see a huge opportunity for financial services. Right. This is a time when India is negotiating a lot of trade deals. Uh, would there be certain amount of protection that you would seek for the Indian automobile market? I think the final details are awaited, but I think Indian companies are really competitive on a global landscape today. The opportunity to export to EU and UK is of course there. And I think as far as electric vehicles are concerned, the policy and the trade agreements will be done in a way that encourages investment in India for Indian and foreign markets.